Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on Magic Bullet Looks in Avid Studio. Magic Bullet Looks is a great software application, great plugin for Avid Studio. It's Red Giant's top of the line thing and it creates great looks for videos, film, whatever you're doing. You can do color correction, you can do film stock, you can do all kinds of great things. I'm going to show you how to modify, how to use the right presets, how to get all you can out of Magic Bullet Looks in Avid Studio. Let's get into it. Now we're in Avid Studio and I have my video clip in the timeline. So I'm going to right click on the video clip. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the Effects tab. I'm going to Add-ons. I'm going to go to Red Giant. I'm going to go to Magic Bullet Looks. Now I'm going to click on Edit. And when I do, it's going to open the Looks Builder. First thing I want to show you is that there's a look theater up here. If you click on All Looks, it gives you all of the different preset categories that are listed under Magic Bullet. And if you click on View, after you select one of those, you get a little beautiful slideshow of all the looks in the category that you selected. How beautiful is that? If you click on view again, it stops the slideshow, brings you back to the regular looks builder. Now, if you hover over the word looks, it's going to go fly out and give you all the looks again. Now you got things like basic, uh, diffusion, horror, popular film, special effects, a whole bunch of things. And each one of these categories has a bunch of different looks that you can utilize. So if you open up one of these categories, you'll see the different looks and the different presets. And as you click on them, you will see them apply to the video clip. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Done to it. So as I'm clicking on these, I think you saw at the bottom of the screen, a bunch of different things going on down here. What is that? What are all those things? Well, this is called your tool chain. Tool chain lists all of the tools that are in the preset that you selected, and they're all broken down into five different categories. The first category is called subject. Now, this allows you to alter the image prior to it being processed by the camera. You got matte. So this acts like the uh, camera matte box. So it has filters that you can use to kind of look just like the matte box that you could do with your camera. Then you have lens. So let you alter the lens of your camera. Then you got camera. And of course, that lets you alter the recording of any image. Let you create uh, film stocks, things like that. And you got post. All the things that you do in post. Color correction, all that good stuff. So all these five areas have tools that are applied to them. Now, you don't see any tools here. Why is that? Well, because this preset didn't use any tools for lens or camera. So you will not see them there. Now, each tool can be modified, it can be removed, it can be turned on, it can be turned off. So, you got these little red dots up here. If I click on this, whoop, the fusion just went away. All right, why'd you turn me off? Turn me back on. Okay, I will. Click on it again, comes back on. Get the little Ghostbuster symbol. All right, so what if you just said, you know what, I turned it off, but you know what, I'm not going to turn it back on. I don't even want it in here at all. Well, you can drag it and bring it over into the trash bin and voila it is gone no mas easy to do now you can also modify each one of these tools to your heart's content 
turn it into something that you like, something you want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. This is my tutorial. I made it, and I'm going to do what I want to do with it. So I'm going to show you a few different looks on here, and I'm also going to show you how to modify some of the tools in here. So I'm going to go to Popular Film. I'm going to go to Warm and Fuzzy. So you see, I click on it, and it's applied. So I'm looking at this, and I'm like, eh, maybe I want to change this up a little bit. I click on Saturation. See this color wheel here? See it's set to green. I can actually drag this to a different position, and it will actually change the contrast. And you can see it changing up slightly as I move it around the wheel. I can also just click on the area that I want it to, and it leave it there like that. It's all good. Also, you have this called Warm Cool. I click on this, I can do the same thing. I can actually just click on different colors or drag it around like I did before and see the effect that's caused by me moving it around. I kind of like this right here, so I'm going to leave it like that. Beautiful. All right, but you know what? I'm going to try something else out. So I'm going to go to looks again, and I'm going to go, I'm going to close up popular film, and I'm going to go to horror. I'm going to go to hot Maddie. So you see that was applied. Now this Texas Chainsaw Massacre type stuff going on right now. But I'm like, eh, I don't want it all over the whole screen. Maybe I just want some of it. So there's a gradient exposure here. Now if I click on that, you see this line shows up. Well, I can click wherever I want to, really. I can click here, and I can drag the gradient across at a diagonal. I can drag it back. I can make it go up and down. Or I could just make it go straight Side to side, horizontally. So I have the ability to change that if I like. Also, I can change the color of the gradient. So if I come to this wheel here, and I click on this color wheel, you'll see that I can change whatever color the gradient is if I like. Pretty cool. At least I think so. If you don't like it, that's too bad. I like it. So I'm going to go back to looks again. I'm going to close up horror and I'm going to go to special effects and I'm going to click on pink spot. So with pink spot, I have a tool here called vignette under the lens category. So I'm going to click on that. Now with the vignette, I can move where the vignette's going to be. I can change the inside part of the vignette or the outside or the whole vignette and make it smaller or bigger and I can change the color of my vignette if I wish to do so you'll see right here you've got the color well right now it's on black well you need to move this up and you'll see that the black gets lighter but also what will happen is if I click on the color it'll change to that color I'm gonna have it more like in the middle so you can see more of the color of the vignette that I'm choosing. So I can play around with this and change the color of the vignette if I wish to do so because I have the power. Okay? Now if I go back to looks, I'm going to stay in special effects and I'm going to go to warm spot focus. Now here you've got your color curves. So if you click on the curves, You'll see that you have this line going up and down here. Now the top part is for highlights, the bottom is for shadows. As you move them to the left side, they go up, move them to the right, they go down. So right now, if I were to go to red, you see it's all right there. So I want to highlight some red. So I'm going to go up on the highlight section, and you'll notice that the red gets brighter everywhere. Okay? And if I go to the shadows, you'll notice that as I go down, the shadows get darker. As I move up, the shadows get lighter. Like I said, up is light, down is dark. And then if I wanted to change the green some, I could do the same thing. But let's say I want to go the opposite in the green. I want the highlights to be darker on the green and the shadows to be higher. It looks pretty nice. Nice little effect that you can put on your video. I like how that looks. You may not. I don't care. Because I'm moving on, baby. Moving on. Going back to looks. Go to special effects. Close that up. And I'm going to go to stock emulation. Stock emulation is cool. You can make a lot of great film looks with stock 
emulation. Matter of fact, it has some on here. Subtle film. Look at that. Pretty. Or subtle film soft. Like it. Max contrast. A lot of great looking film looks here. Bleach Bypass is one of the favorite ones for most people who are like uh, using video cameras because it takes out a lot of that, you know, fakey look and gives it more of a film look. So I really like that one. Um, I'm going to go down to uh, number 85, which is a really good one too. And the reason why I'm going down there is because I want to show y'all some of the things you can do with this one. So if I go down here, I can go to color contrast. If I click on color contrast, got a color wheel here. Guess what? I can change the color be any kind of way I wanted to. I can go back to that kind of Texas Chainsaw massacre -y type thing if I want. You know, I can do all kind of good stuff with this. So this is a really easy way to change the mood of your film as well by just using the color contrast. All right. So you can save these. Let's say I want to save this one. I like this. I say I like how this looks. It's a good little Texas Chainsaw massacre -y type thing. I'm going to save this bad boy. Well, I can do that if I go to File, Save Look As. It's going to take me right to my custom folder. I just need to name it Texas Chainsaw. Click on Save. And now if I go to Looks and I go to Custom, you will see Texas Chainsaw. Also got some other things I put in there and made, so... Get a look at some of the different looks that I created for more of a film look. Beautiful. Love it. All right. Now all you got to do is click on OK. And it's a wrap. You just click OK in Avid Studio and it's good to go. It'll be applied to your clip and it'll render. And you can chillax, finish making your movie, you're good to go.